which position is commonly used in DRE so what do you mean by DRE DRE stands for digital rectal examination so here you can able to see the four options are there first I will tell you that what are these position okay see so the red box so this red box is the knee elbow position or a knee chest position and second option is the Trendlenburg position and number three is the Sims position and number four is the lithotomy position okay so these are the four positions so we'll go for the answer so the answer for this question is Sims position so here you can able to see that so this is the Sims position is the answer Sims position is the answer okay the three position that's this one that is a knee elbow position then Sims position then lithotomy positions are commonly uh, useful for digital rectal examination among these the most common position is the Sims position otherwise called as uh, left lateral decubitus position so we will uh, we will discuss one by one about these positions okay first one this is the knee elbow position what is knee elbow position where you have to put the patient in prone position so you have to put the patient in prone position like this okay that is a elbow uh, knee in flexion and elbow in flexion so as like a dog okay knee elbow position and this position is somewhat variant what you are seeing is the knee chest position okay then elbow is also uh, completely uh, you can uh, the chest is kept at the uh, lower level knee elbow position so this knee elbow position is ideally useful in cases of young patient they are presenting with this anorectal complaints where you can put it and you can examine so that is an ideal position for any young patients the next position is the Trendlenburg position this position is ideally useful in cases of where when you are operating on a patient particularly so what is this Trendlenburg position here you can able to see in here the head end has to be kept at a lower level and the foot end has to be elevated so this position is ideally useful whenever you are doing a, a pelvic surgeries like gynecological surgeries or any pelvic surgeries because if you want to operate on the pelvis all the bowel will be going and occupying the pelvis so if you put this position automatically all the bowel will go into the upper part of the abdomen and you will have a more space to operate or else you can use this position in all the vascular surgeries in the lower limb okay this is about the Trendlenburg position then next position is the Sims position okay so this is the Sims position where you can see the patient in the left lateral decubitus position and the gluteal region it has to come towards the end of the table and you can see that and there is some variation this is an ideal position is the knee has to be that uh, left lower limb has to be extended completely the right lower limb has to be flexed and the right knee has to touch the chest level so this is called sims position ideal position to for the examination of per rectum then next one is the lithotomy position here the lithotomy position is ideally useful for uh, parietal examination as well as mainly useful for when you are operating on a patient presenting with uh, presenting with a perineal pathology like if you want to uh, operate on hemorrhoid uh, lateral spintrotomy for fissure in nano fistulectomy and all the uh, gynecological surgery so you want a perineal approach there you can use this position okay then next we will discuss one by one the position the same position in another pictures you can see that you can see that this is the knee chest position or knee elbow position this is an ideal knee elbow position and this one is a sims position or left lateral decubitus position where you can see the left lower limb has to be extended completely and right upper limb uh, right lower limb uh, it has to be flexed and this position the third one this is called jackknife position ideally useful in cases of uh, pylonidal sinus in the sacral region and this is a lithotomy position where you can see that 
the uh, thigh has to be externally rotated abduction and flexion and knee is also flexed so this is lithotomy position okay so now we are going to discuss how we are going to do the digital rectal examination two things you have to follow number one is the inspection and palpation before that you do the uh, put the patient in position okay so this is a typical this is a typical sims position where you can see the patient lying down in the left lateral position the patient is facing the wall the patient is facing the wall and here you can able to see the left lower limb is complete extension and the right lower limb that is a right <coughs> limb has to be the knee has to be flexed and it has to, it has to be go up to the level of the chest okay this position is called sims position so what you have to do here the surgeon or examiner has to stand here has to just stand here and first do the inspection inspection okay just to separate the gluteal cleft and do the examination in inspection you can able to assess that uh, prolapsed mri external opening of the fistula in ano and uh, you can able to see the fissure like uh, in 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock position and any discharge from the anal region so these uh, things you can ex examine by inspection then followed by palpation palpation you take the lecnocaine jelly in your index finger and try to keep your index finger in the uh, cleft and gently palpate and then gently swipe your finger not to put it your finger directly gently swipe your finger into the anal canal as like this so once you enter into the anal canal you can able to enter into the lower end of the rectum and followed by if possible uh, it will reach the middle uh, half of the rectum also okay so while you are entering the four things the four walls are there so posterior wall anterior wall both lateral walls you have to examine completely in male the posterior wall specifically you have to examine for the prostate and female you have to examine for the uterus okay so what are the things you will assess uh, by doing rectal examination the first thing is intra luminal okay you put you are putting your finger and taking out after that looking for the finger is there any stain is there what is the stain any blood stain is there any melina stain is there or any um, fe fecal matter is there or anything any pus discharge is there in your finger so looking for the stain in your gloved finger then followed by intramurally so while you are entering you can able to assess the any growth any malignant lesion or any polyp is there all these things you can assess extramural means that is a prostate and uh, uterus i told so that also you have to examine and you have to record your finding uh, in digital rectal examination